The Arizona Science Center has a new exhibit to celebrate a year of astronomy. Our meteorologist Jamie King is there to show us how it's working. Jamie. Hey guys, good morning to you. We're live at the Dorrance Planetarium. Now, if you're familiar with this here at the Arizona Science Center, uh, they redid this uh, about eight months ago. And what you see is what you get. Would you take a look at this? Unbelievable. We are celebrating astronomy. And this is a global thing. It's got an international flair. The entire year of 2009, we're going to the stars. And speaking of the Science Center's very own star, George, how are you? All right, yourself? Very good. Tell our viewers, uh, lots to see and do out here. I've never been here, and it is fascinating, although I have fond memories of planetariums. The kids love it. We've got a bunch of kids viewing uh, this particular showing right now. What are people going to see when they come here through the uh, 2009? Through, through, through 2009, during the International Year of Astronomy, during our astronomy days once a month, we will have lots of hands-on activities. We'll have demonstrations that they can, uh, that they can uh, witness. Uh, we also will have our solar telescope, so they can go out and look at the sun through a special telescope telescope, actually two different types of special telescopes. Mm -hmm. And then at night we will have a telescope, a regular telescope that looks at the stars and the planets and uh, like Venus is up, beautiful planet Venus, which Galileo uh, got him into a little trouble. With, uh, oh, just a little, just, just a little, little, but he was pardoned yeah, about 400 years ago. Exactly. Uh, so we'll have that and of course we'll always have our planetarium shows and in May we'll have 24 hours of planetarium shows. Oh. 24 hours, yes, non-stop, starts at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. on, uh, on Saturday, May 2nd mm -hmm. and ends at 10 a.m. On, uh, on Sunday the, the 3rd. Wow, huge. This is big for you guys to participate in the community and develop an awareness of sorts with young school kids or even the adults. That is, that is true. That is true. We are partnering with uh, ASU and a couple of uh, local astronomy clubs, mm -hmm. East Valley Astronomy Club and Saguaro Astronomy Club, and Lowell Observatory is coming down as well mm -hmm. in, in February. Yeah. So, yeah, we are partnering with them, and we are bringing astronomy not only to the kids but to the entire valley. Right. Now, folks who come into the planetarium, Juan's kind of scanning the crowd. They're the kids. Hey, you guys enjoying this? Yeah, the kids, they love it. We just got to bring an imagination. Parents can recline, kind of in a dark room. We were talking about this. So right. perfect for the kids and perfect for the parents at the same time. That, that is true. That is true. Uh, yeah, the kids are engaged. We have this special uh, box. It's a special computer mm -hmm. that allows the presenter literally to go up to kids and say, what do you want to see? Hey, you push the button. You bring it up. Uh -huh. And so the kids get to control the planetarium, and they, and they love that. And bring, it really brings them out. They ask a lot. Lots of questions and they go home just inspired by astronomy. Right. Mike, in about 15 seconds, uh, give me for the month of February coming up here. I can't believe how fast this is going. Uh, February, what's uh, the event going to be? Our theme is about Pluto. So we're going to take a look at the planet. Well, actually at the dwarf planet now. Yeah. And we'll find out why it's not considered a planet anymore. Mm -hmm. And what is a planet? How are the planets that are in our solar system different, right. and how is Pluto, di Pluto different from all that? Very good. Mike George, thank you very much. Guys, come on down. 2009, the year of astronomy. Okay. Cool.